The making of The Emperor's New Groove was so chaotic, Disney doesn't want you to see its behind-the-scenes documentary. The story of how The Emperor's New Groove came to be is fascinating. It was first developed as The Kingdom of the Sun, a sweeping epic based on Inca myths. Sting was going to write a whole series of songs for the movie. But after years of setbacks, disagreements, cautious meetings, and disastrous screenings, the project was canceled, and then redeveloped into The Emperor's New Groove as we know it today. But Disney didn't change its release date, and had to fulfill its contractual obligation to McDonald's for a Happy Meal tie-in. So the filmmakers had about a year to put the whole movie together. David Spade has said he never knew the movie's full story while he was recording. It was constantly being rewritten and improvised on the fly. By screenwriter Dave Reynolds, as he recalled, the first and only draft of The Emperor's New Groove was handed in two weeks after the movie was in theaters. Meanwhile, filmmaker Trudy Styler was capturing all of the movie's drama in a behind-the-scenes documentary. The doc was so truthful and revealing about Disney's process that the company refused to release it. 